Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of Code Logical, and in today's video, we're gonna have a look at how to deal with model relationships in Ember.js. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created some boilerplate code just to get up and running very quickly, so you don't have to watch me type everything. So I'll just quickly explain what I have made beforehand. So in our um, router here, I've made two routes, which is a blog route and an article route. Okay, so we're gonna have a, a list of um, articles on the blog page, and then we can click on a single article that takes us to the article page. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created two other models, an article model and a comment model. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at how to link these two up together, that is the article and the comment. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've created some fixtures for an article and other fixtures for the comment as well. So as of now, they aren't linked together yet, but we will do that shortly. So let's go ahead and list the articles on our blog page first to start with. So inside of this um, index.html file here, I have a blog template. So this is where the articles are going to live. And then we'll create another template, which is just for a single article. But we'll do that soon afterwards. So right now, let's just um, see what we have on our blog page. So here I am on the home page. Um, so after refreshing, I have created a link helper just to help us get quickly to the blog page. And when I click it, this is what we see. So right now, inside of the um, the blog template, there's nothing being displayed except welcome to our blog. So let's make sure that the list of articles gets displayed there. So how do we do that? Um, right now, our blog template has no model associated with it. That's because we have relied on Ember's default um, route creation. So we have created a blog route, but we haven't told um, the Ember created, we haven't created a route to say, use this model. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So right below our fixtures, let's just say app.blogroute equals to ember.route.extend so inside there we're going to create a model hook there and as usual that should be a function and uh, we're going to say this.find articles actually it should be singular and one more thing we have to do is change the adapter to be fixture adapter. So we say app dot um, article adapter equals to ds dot fixture adapter. Okay, dot extend. All right, so that works. Okay, so now that we have told the route to return a list of uh, actually let's. Um, rectify that should be returned we told it to return a list of articles so now the blog route has a model of type array which is a list of articles so let's go inside of our blog here uh, template and actually loop over that so we will see um, use the each helper and if you remember this is how you use it and inside of that we're going to create just um, Let's say a p tag and inside the p tag we will just list the title of that article so if we inspect um, the model for an article it has a title and a body property so we can just say um, inside of here we can say title okay so let's go in our browser if we don't have any errors we should see a list of blog posts with um, their title showing so we have an error. Let's inspect that. Okay, it says type undefined is not a function. Okay. Ah, apparently I should have referenced the store here. So that's the problem. So we should have done this dot store dot find. Okay, so let's try that now. Refreshing our browser. Yeah, as you can see, the list of articles um, are being populated here. So now what we want to do is create a link for each of these article titles so that it goes to that article page. So let's do that next. Okay, inside of our blog template, we can just use the Ember um, link to Handlebars Helper 
So let's give a bit of space here and just say hash link to. And where do we want to link to? We want to link to a single article. So let me just point out why we link to an article because we have an article route defined here and it's going to um, correspond to this URL which is article slash article ID. So this is a dynamic segment. So if it's not very clear, I just urge you to bear with me in the next couple of videos, we will cover um, dynamic segments in Ember. But just for now, it's just a way of saying if you reach this URL, anything after it can be dynamic. So you can access that inside your route, which we'll do next. So we link to an article and then we pass in this. This means the instance of the current um, article that we're looping over. So the link will have the article title as its text and then we'll just close in the link to helper here. Okay, so let's go back in our browser and we refresh. As you can see, it's happening. So if you look at the underneath here, just around this section here, when we hover over each of these links, you will see slash articles and the ID of the article. But when I click to it, we are taken to an article page, but since we don't have a template defined for a single article, we will not see anything there. This is just coming in from the application template, which is shared amongst all the sub templates. So let's go ahead and create the article template for a single article. So let's just copy this quickly. So and then change the ID so it matches an article. So we'll just change this ID here to article. And inside of it, we'll say um, H2, actually let's make it H3. And we'll say title. And here we'll put a P and we'll put body. Okay, so let's go back in our browser and then we refresh, see what we have. As you can see, it says first tab at Ember blogging, building ambitious applications in Ember feels like a breeze. So let's look at our fixtures and for the article with an ID of one, this is the um, title and the body for it. Let's just confirm that. So inside of our fixtures, we have um, first tab at Ember and building ambitious applications. Ember feels like a breeze. Let's change the URL to two to have the ID of two and we see if the second one will load. Okay, so that works. But just one thing I want to bring to your attention. You remember we did not specify which um, model this article template should use. And the reason why that works is because Ember automatically figures out when you come in through the URL, like we did, changing here to the ID 2, Ember understands that this part, since it's dynamic, it tries to map it to that ID in the URL. Likewise, if you have passed in a model like we did here, by clicking over this link, Ember wouldn't look at the dynamic segment in the URL. It will just use that model as the model for the template you're traveling to, in this case, the article template. And if you're as I said, it, it first checks for that model here and then associates it with this. But if you came into that template through the URL, Ember tries to map the URL to whatever dynamic segment that you have created here. So we didn't need to do something like app dot um, article route. And the reason we will need to do that is if we need to associate a different model or we need to do some extra functionality, maybe set up a controller with some extra data, which we don't need in this video. So we will leave it at that. Okay. All right. So just one thing, since this video is about model associations, yes, it's nice that we have the list of articles, but right now the articles are not linking to any comments. So how do we link comments to articles? All right, how you do that is inside the model for an article, we have to create a property called comments. And since it's a one to many relationship, we have to use something called ds dot has many. And inside there, we can pass in comment. This is saying one article has many comments. Uh, this should be an S. So anytime we access this comments property, we will can loop over the comments of that article and present it. Likewise, inside of the comment, we have to say article, A-R-T-I-C-L-E, 
and then we say ds dot belongs to pardon my spelling guys um, and then inside there we have to say that as a comment belongs to a single article but that's not all we have to come inside of our fixtures as well and specify which um, articles own which comment so we have to come here and do something like comments and it has to be an array and the array shouldn't contain the comments themselves but just the id of the comment so in this case let's just associate this first article with the second comment and we have to put inside the array the id of that comment and the second one here let's just say um comments and put in an array and let's say owns the first one just to make things interesting i will just duplicate this make it a third comment and the body let's say ember is awesome just so it's different from the rest and we'll say that the second um, blog post article owns the first comment and the third one so that's specified by the id then we'll have to come to the comments as well and just say article for that comment is um is article two yes and likewise we'll do the same for the other one as well so the third one also belongs to article two but the first one belongs to article one and this one should not be an array because it's a single article so if you just stick with the vibe here guys is if it has if it has many relationship it has to be an id of um, arrays if it's a belongs to it has to be a single id so this is how if we're dealing with servers in future videos this is how ember expects um the json to come from the server by default you can configure it to look different way but by default this is how the json should look like okay so now let's go inside of our um up article template and underneath there let's create a div and this is where we're going to output the list of comments and we'll just say um a4 comments and we'll loop over each comment and then actually since an article has uh, many comments so we'll say comments and let's see what the property of the comment is it's the text so we're going to show the text of the comment so we'll just say text and if all works well we shall see the comments underneath single article so let's go back to the home page yeah and then we refresh the browser as you can see blog uh, seems like we have an error see what it is undefined is not a function okay what's this problem i'll pause the video and then try to um debug this because this video is going on for too long okay guys after a bit of debugging i did realize that i did um some mistakes um i should have put the fixtures here just right after comment and also should have specified that the comment adapter should be using the fixture adapter so comment adapter because ds dot fixture adapter dot extend and also inside of the has many attributes for comments here should i put async to true basically that what that's saying is um automatically like load the comments for the article so don't like let the user go and fetch it just fetch it automatically so this will by default be a promise array and then anytime that it loads it it will be having the data coming in from the comments okay so let's go in our browser and then refresh and see what we have um so now we are on the blog page yep so the errors have disappeared let's visit the first one and as you can see we have the content of the article and then underneath it we have the comments over here let's go to the previous one and uh, dig in deep into ember as you can see we have the comments so it's not properly formatted so let's just format that quickly just to see that they are both on their own line i'll put them all in their p tags here or paragraph tags whichever you want to call them 
And then when we refresh, we should see comments listed one after each other. So we say, wow, excited to learn Ember together. I hope you're all excited to learn Ember. And then the next one says, Ember is awesome, which I highly believe because it is. Or else we wouldn't be learning it right now. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, this video, um, I keep saying guys. I'm sure there's some um, girls or women as well watching this. So, <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. It was slightly long but yeah it is we starting to get into some slightly advanced stuff in ember and um videos coming along might be longer than usual but yeah that's the trade-off we have to do when learning complicated stuff okay thanks for watching i will see you soon and um probably soon we'll start building some application like um stuff soon because right now we're just digging into the concepts, which I believe is very important because nobody really touches on Ember concepts. Everyone just builds and our builds, 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 which is good, but we have to understand how the inner workings of Ember work first. But I promise you, soon we'll start building an application because that's the interesting part. So enough rumbling from me. Thanks for watching once again, people. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.